Hello, this is my crochet beret hat. Um, it's beginner friendly, I hope you like it. I'm using two balls of super chunky wool, Wendy's wool, one chunky wool, uh, a robin yarn, a size 7 hook and a size 8 hook, a wool needle and a pair of scissors. So to begin we're going to chain three um, and then slip stitch into the first chain to make a ring. So now we're going to chain three with nine double crochets into the ring and then slip stitch so we'll have ten stitches all together. So now this will be a normal round with a chain three and one double crochet in each stitch with a slip stitch to finish. So now we're going to make our increases, so we're going to chain three with two double crochets in each stitch and then finish with a slip stitch. So now we're just going to repeat again um, with a chain three and two double crochets in each stitch again, uh, finished with the slip stitch to increase. So now we've done our increases, 
Um, this is just going to be a normal round um, with a chain three and one double crochet in each stitch. Um, and you can see by the shape, it's starting to take its berry shape. So now we're going to do another increase, we're going to start with a chain three and we're going to do um, some double crochets and in every third double crochet you'll put two double crochets. Uh, so that's the third one and here comes the second one. And then we're going to count another three double crochets, one, two, three and this is where we'll add our second and we'll repeat this until the end and we'll finish with the slip stitch. So now we're going to repeat this again, so a chain three and in every third double crochets we're going to add two double crochets to make the increase the same as the last round. So this is number three, we're going to add a second one into the third and repeat. So one, two, three and add a second one into that one. So now we've done our increases, this is just going to be a normal round with a chain three and one double crochet in each stitch. So 
now we need to repeat another two rounds of normal rounds, one double crochet in each stitch. So now you can see the shape taking place. We're going to half double crochet a decrease in each stitch. So we'll start with a chain three, yarn over into the first stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through all stitches. So yarn over again, into the next stitch, yarn over again, into the following stitch, yarn over and pull through all stitches. And we're going to do this until the end to create our decrease. So now we've done our decreases, uh, we're just going to fasten off and then we're going to change to our chunky yarn with the smaller size hook. So now with our size 7 hook, we're just going to pull through the chunky yarn, secure it and now we're going to chain 3. And we're going to double crochet in each stitch. They are going to be quite big because of the decreases. And then in every sixth stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. So here comes two. And we're going to repeat that until the end. So every sixth stitch, add two double crochets. So now we're going to go in and out of the last double crochets. So we're going to chain three. We're going to pick up the double crochet. Double crochet in front. Now we're going behind. So double crochet behind the stitch. We're going to repeat. And through the back again. And we're going to carry on this process until the end and this will create a sort of ribbon effect.
so now we need to do another two rounds repeating double crocheting in front and behind the posts So now we've finished the beret, so you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. And the next step, I'll show you how to make these circles for the spots of the mushroom. So now we're going to make the spots. We're going to begin by chaining three. Then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain which this is going to make a ring. Now we're going to chain three. And once we've chained three, we're going to double crochet into the ring nine times. And we're going to end with a slip stitch. And then I like to leave a little bit of a tail to use that to sew the spot onto the hat. Um, using your wool needle. We're done. Um, I placed my spots sort of anywhere I wanted to on the hat. I only used four but you can use as many as you want. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Bye!